Hi, my name is Sumant Mehta and I'm a senior program manager in Azure. Today, I'm very excited to talk to you about a premium storage offering from Microsoft called Azure Premium Blob Storage. But before we get into that, let me quickly talk about Azure Blob Storage. Now, Azure Blob Storage is Microsoft's object storage solution for the cloud. It is optimized for storing massive amounts of unstructured data. Blob Storage is highly scalable. It can store petabytes of data. It provides multiple redundancy choices to protect from drive, zonal, or regional failure. It supports AD authentication and a variety of other security features to ensure enterprise rate protection. It also offers a low-cost tiered storage model where you can move data across the hot, cool, and archive access tiers depending on your application needs. Azure Blob Storage can be used for a wide variety of applications, such as those involving serving images or documents for websites, storing files for distributed access, streaming audio and video, writing to log files, and many more. Now, Blob Storage also supports Azure Data Lake Storage, which is Microsoft's enterprise big data analytics solution for the cloud. ADLS inherits all the great features Blob Storage has to offer, such as scalability, security, and cost effectiveness. In addition, ADLS offers a true hierarchical file system, as well as file and folder level ACLs for fine-grained access control. Operations such as renaming or deleting a directory become single atomic metadata operations on the directory, and this enables analytics workloads to run faster. Now let's come back to our main focus for today, which is premium blob storage. While the hot, cool, and archive access tiers in Azure Blob Storage are sufficient for a wide variety of applications, there are some workloads that have even tighter requirements around latency and transaction volumes. For such workloads, Microsoft specifically offers premium blob storage. Premium blobs store data on SSDs, which are known for their lower latencies and higher transaction volumes compared to traditional hard drives. Within premium blob storage, you can enable a few different settings to arrive at three different flavors for this offering. We like to call these premium blobs, premium tier for ADLS and premium NFS. Let me quickly run you through how you can create a premium blob storage account. If you go to the Azure portal, the create a storage account page provides multiple options on how to configure your storage account. To create a premium blob storage account, you need to select the premium performance tier. In addition, make sure that the premium account type selected is block blobs. In the advanced tab, you have an option to enable the hierarchical namespace. By enabling this option, you can create a premium tier for ADLS account. If your storage account or data lake is going to be used for big data analytics, then the premium tier for ADLS is the recommended choice for you. If you leave this option disabled, you get a premium blob account. In addition, you can also choose to select the NFS v3 option, which gives you a premium NFS account. You can mount an Azure blob storage container via the NFS v3 protocol and run your high throughput, large scale, read heavy workloads which depend on NFS in the cloud without refactoring your applications. Now that we've seen how to create a premium storage account, let's look at when you should use one. At a high level, you should use premium accounts for two reasons primarily. The first one is performance. If you have scenarios that require low and consistent latencies, then our premium offerings are a great choice. Even as we see transaction volumes rising, achieving low latency remains critical in a variety of industries and across various application classes. Highly interactive and real-time applications, for instance, need data to be read and written as quickly as possible. In interactive editing or multiplayer online gaming applications, real-time updates are needed to maintain a quality experience. Additionally, premium accounts also offer higher IOPS limits compared to standard accounts. So if your workload performs a very high number of transactions, then you should consider using premium. The other and not so obvious reason to use our premium offerings is cost. Now, even though storage costs are higher in premium, transaction costs for premium accounts are about one third compared to hot tier transaction prices. So if your workload is transaction heavy, premium can be more cost effective in addition to being more performant. We usually suggest that if your workload has a transactions per second per terabyte ratio greater than 30, then you may want to evaluate premium from a cost perspective as well. The actual numbers may vary depending on your transaction mix and your Azure region. Let's now take a look at some real world scenarios where it makes sense to use premium accounts. Our first scenario is interactive editing applications. In applications where multiple users edit the same content, the speed of updates becomes critical for a smooth user experience. For instance, in a video editing or document editing software, any update that a user makes to a video document should be immediately visible to other users. Users can then focus on their tasks instead of waiting for content updates to appear. 
The low latencies associated with premium blob storage help create this seamless and collaborative experience. Our next scenario relates to data visualization software. Users can be far more productive with data visualization software if their rendering time is quick. For example, we have seen companies in the mapping industry use mapping editors to detect issues with maps. These editors use information that is generated from customer GPS data. To create map overlays, the editing software renders small sections of a map by performing key lookups. These fast and predictable key lookups are made possible by using premium storage. Our next scenario is that of fast data transfer and hydration. In industries such as banking, certain regulatory requirements might require companies to regularly tear down their environments and then bring them back up from scratch. The data used to hydrate their environments must load quickly. This is where premium storage comes in handy. As an example, some of our partners store a copy of their on-prem master database instance each week to a premium blob account. The system, which exists in multiple Azure regions, is then toned down every week. To get the system back up online quickly, the contents of the premium account are copied to premium accounts in those other Azure regions, and the database instances in those regions are hydrated by reading and loading from premium storage. So premium storage helps with fast data upload, transfer, and download in this scenario. Log ingestion and analytics is a very important scenario that we see benefiting from premium storage. In almost every industry, there is a need for enterprises to query and analyze their data interactively. Data scientists, analysts, and developers can derive time-sensitive insights faster by running queries on data stored in a premium storage account. Executives can load their dashboards much more quickly when the data that appears in those dashboards comes from a premium storage account. In one particular case for a customer, their requirement was to analyze telemetry data from millions of devices quickly to better understand how their products are used and to make product release decisions. Storing data in SQL databases can be expensive. To reduce cost and to increase queryable surface area, they went with a premium ADLS account and performed computation and Presto and Spark. This way, even rarely accessed data had all the power of compute that frequently accessed data had. To close the gap between SQL's sub-second performance and Presto's IOPS to external storage, consistency and speed are critical, especially when dealing with small, optimized row columnar files, also known as ORC files. The premium ADLS account repeatedly demonstrated a 3x performance improvement over a standard account in this scenario. Queries executed fast enough to feel local to the compute machine. As another example, companies in the media and entertainment industry can generate a large number of logs in telemetry in a short amount of time. This can happen when they broadcast an event, for example. Some of our partners rely on multiple CDN partners for streaming. They must make real-time decisions about which CDN partners to allocate traffic to. Therefore, data needs to be available for querying a few seconds after it is ingested. To facilitate this quick decision-making, they use data stored within a premium ADLS account and process that data in Azure Data Explorer. Let's now talk about data processing pipelines. In a variety of scenarios, raw data from multiple sources needs to be cleansed and processed so that it becomes useful for downstream consumption in tools like data dashboards that help users make decisions. While speed of processing may not always be the top concern when processing data, some industries require it. For example, companies in the financial services industry often need to process data reliably and in the quickest way possible. To detect fraud, these companies must process inputs from various sources, identify risks to their customers, and take swift fraction. Let's take an example where a data processing application needs to frequently read newly arriving data. In such a scenario, storing data in a premium ADLS account can be highly beneficial as performing directory listing calls in a premium account is quicker and more consistent. This speed ensures that newly arriving data is made available to downstream systems as quickly as possible. Our next scenario is IoT. IoT applications can be found everywhere these days. Companies use IoT to enable their smart factory projects, improve agricultural output, and on oil rigs for predictive maintenance. Premium storage adds significant value to these scenarios. Let's look at an example from the mining industry. A partner of ours uses a premium ADLS account along with an HD Insight edge-based cluster to ingest time series sensor data from multiple mining equipment types with a very taxing load profile. Premium storage helps satisfy their need for high sample read ingestion. 
It is also cost effective because premium storage is optimized for workloads that perform a large number of transactions, which is true in this scenario where tens of thousands of write transactions happen per second. And finally, let's talk about machine learning. In many cases, a lot of data needs to be processed to train a machine learning model. To complete this processing, compute machines must run for a long time. The low latency that you get by using premium storage can significantly reduce your compute time and your bill. We have partners in the semiconductor industry with use cases that intersect IoT and machine learning. For example, in one case, IoT devices attached to machines in the manufacturing plant take images of semiconductor wafers, which are then sent to a storage account. Using deep learning inference, the system can inform the on-premise machines if there is an issue with the production and if an action needs to be taken. A requirement here is to be able to load and process images quickly and reliably, and using a premium ADLS account helps to make this possible. Let me now show you a demonstration of how quick premium storage actually is. We have two windows side by side that will execute downloads from a premium and standard storage account using a test application. The premium and standard storage accounts have already been created and a million one MB blobs have been uploaded to each. We will perform a few download experiments on both accounts, varying the amount of data downloaded in each experiment, and we'll measure the time to last byte. In our first experiment, we start with downloading the first 64 KB of data from 1000 blobs. So as you can see, average read latencies and 99% latencies for the premium account are in the single digit milliseconds. For standard, average and 99% latencies are much higher and the range for 99% latencies is also quite large. Next, let's try with a larger download size such as 1 MB. As you can see, average and 99% latencies are still quite low for premium, whereas that's not the case with standard. Hopefully, this gives you an idea of the low as well as consistent nature of latencies associated with premium storage. In the end, I would like to share some useful links where you can learn more about our premium offerings. I hope you found this presentation useful. We look forward to having you on board Azure Premium Blob Storage. Thank you for your time today and have a good day.